Hey, it's Dora with Tactical Hive. In today's video, guys, it's all about dump pouches, all right? Uh, where it started for me, what I used throughout my career, how I used them, and uh, more importantly, when I did not use them. So stay tuned. Hey, today's video is brought to you by CCW Safe. They're a big supporter of the channel, and God forbid, you know, if you carry for self-defense and you did actually have to use your tools to do so, there's gonna be a second fight afterwards, an aftermath. And CCW Safe doesn't just cut you a check and wish you luck, all right? They select your legal team, as well as send out their own in private investigators to work on your behalf. So go ahead, check them out in the link below. Let's get to the video. All right, guys, without further ado, like I said, today's video is all about dump pouches, okay? So where I started off in my career, which was just kind of, we didn't even have dump pouches, so we just used whatever we could find um, and on to what I'm using now. But to start off, this is a, uh, you know, pretty much what I was running when I first started out. It's a little bit different, but these two pouches I pretty much had as soon as I got to the team. There's just tons of pouches laying around. These are both machine gun pouches. This is a 200 round saw box. This is a 100 round 7.62 box uh, pouch. And I went ahead and just stuck these on the back. And this is what I used for dump pouches starting out. If, if I didn't have this gun belt on, I would use either a cargo pocket or I would put the mags down my shirt because we oftentimes trained without body armor on. You know, that, that sense has been completely worked out of training. But uh, back then we did a lot of land warfare training without body armor. So you were just able to tuck your shirt in and just put your mags down into your, your blouse or your, whatever you were wearing. And yeah, they jostle around and you start to get bigger and bigger, but you know, whatever. At the end of the run, you could just pull your shirt out. They'd all dump out on the ground or on the table. You'd rejam and get going. But yeah, I really, all I did was just use these. Um, if I could, I would leave my left cargo pocket empty. I would go ahead and tuck the uh, flap in and I would just go ahead. Anytime I ran dry, I'd just trace my leg down and just get this in there. But, you know, when training ended, now you're wearing body armor, now you're carrying all kinds of stuff in your pockets, your first line gear, second line gear, and you don't have a place for your mags anymore. So now you gotta get creative. So like I said, once I got over there, um, if I, my, my pockets were just too full. I would go ahead and leave one of these pouches empty and I'd go ahead and just get the flap inside of it like that and just do my best. If, if some of them fell out, some of them fell out, you know, whatever, you can always get more. The first dub pouch I was actually issued was this one. Uh, it's made by Maxpedition and it fits right on the belt, folds up pretty nice and it's, it's got a pretty decent size and it, uh, it holds its shape at the top pretty well, which is nice. It's almost like uh, what a mountain climber would keep his chalk ball in. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than that, but it's basically the same thing. And you, know, you could probably get the better part of half dozen mags in there before they start falling out. And it does have the flap to keep them in. And this is the one I used um, for quite a while. I definitely for lamb warfare, right on the actual pants belt. And then also I'd stick it on the uh, gun belt as well. Fast forward a few years, we started getting issued these. These uh, zip up, they're made by Granite Gear Tactical, which I believe is a climbing company, but they decided to get into the tactical realm and they, so basically just make it out, it made a camo. And uh, these ones are okay, they're not great, they were issued, all this stuff was issued, you just kind of take what you can get. And um, I used these a little bit. I wasn't, uh, definitely wasn't going through as many mags as often in these days, but it was definitely there. And you can use your dump pouches for other things. You know, if you just need to carry something, you need to bring something with you, you can go ahead, open it up, stuff it in there. They're great for uh, collecting any kind of evidence or intel off of a target. You can just go ahead, open it up, use it. They're, they work great. You know, they're okay. They're bulky for what they are, kind of heavy. And then the last one I got issued was this Blue Force Gear dump pouch. Very minimalist, very much out of the way got this little tab here you just yank it out 
but you do need to open it up so that it's serviceable. And then once it is, um, it does not have the same rigidity as this one, as this one, does not have the same rigidity as this one, but it's so minimalist. It's so lightweight, it's so out of the way. It's kind of like the 10 speed of dump pouches. And the pouch that it stuffs into is actually a nice little landing strip. So you can go ahead and just find this when you're uh, stowing your mag and just kind of trace it down, drop your mag inside, and it actually works pretty well. All right, guys, so we'll demonstrate uh, the two methods for which I use a dump pouch on pistol. Um, it's basically the same thing on a rifle, but our overlords at YouTube are allowing us to uh, operate pistols on camera, so we're going to go with what we can. All right. So, we go ahead, we set the, uh, the weapon up with one in the chamber, empty magazine. You go ahead, take your shots, take the mag out, trace, drop, reach over, grab a new magazine, and get back on target after the reload. All right, that is method number one. Stow the mag, reload the gun. Method number two, Set the uh, weapon up in the same configuration, one in the chamber, empty magazine, and we'll go ahead and do the tack reload. So punch out, take the shot, immediately go for the new magazine because we want to get this gun loaded up as fast as possible. Do a tack reload, send it home, give it a sh one attempt on the dump pouch and get right back on target. Now, one attempt, very important when you are using a dump pouch in any type of real world situation, dangerous situation, you do not want to be doing this. You don't want to be looking, you don't want to be stowing, you do not want to be losing situational awareness of what's going on around you. You need to be laser focused on what it is you're doing and why it is you're doing it. Okay, you have this weapon out, you're taking shots, you're not on a range, you're in the real world. There's probably a very, very good reason for that and we need to keep track of that. Situational awareness is absolutely vital to being successful in these types of situations. And if you train and drill yourself to break focus of what really matters and you start doing this, you're gonna do it in real life, I promise. You train, you train how you fight and you're gonna fight how you trained. And that's what happens. So again, set this up one more time. And I'm going to make an attempt. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just like so. And it went. You know, I just, I, I managed to get it in there. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, the pistol mag's not so hard to get in. Sometimes when you're dealing with rifle magazines, they're a little bit bigger. You go, you go ahead, you're reaching back. Maybe it goes in, maybe it's hanging halfway out. It doesn't matter. Just train yourself to do one attempt, one attempt only. All right, so I've got the older granite gear dub pouch on. Um, it's not as easy to deploy, not as uh, well thought out, but whatever, it was free. So it's got these zippers on here. So if you're gonna use it, you need to have time to get, to get it deployed. Go ahead and get it out. It's a good idea to stuff your hand down in there, make sure you get it opened up. To make your uh, attempts at getting your mags in there, you know, that much more effective. So, once again, we'll just go ahead, trace down, see what we can see if we can get it in there. I don't like this dump pouch; it don't really work that well. But, you know, it's kind of a halfway between the big, big ones and then the minimalist uh, good ones. I tend to go one way or the other. But I did use these uh, kind of oblong, middle-sized ones, so we'll see how it goes. Again, shout. That was a good shot right there. All right guys, so uh, like I said before, the big takeaway with using dump pouches is obviously, you know, I tend to always have them towards the rear on my left side because I'm generally holding on to my gun with my right primary hand. So I'm doing my loading, unloading uh, with my support side. So I have it over here for economy of motion purposes, make it a little bit easier on myself. But again, I cannot stress the importance enough that if you are in a dire situation, don't use your dump pouch. Just 
just dump your mags on the ground and go from there. Very important. If you train yourself to do anything but that, most of the time, that is what you will do in the heat of the moment. I mean, at conversation distance, that can happen. So I see a lot of people trying to restow their empty mags back into their mag pouches, stuff like that. If you're in the middle of actually drilling and using this, these firearms for their intended purpose, that is not the time or the place. All right, guys, that was a quick down and dirty run through of the dump pouches that I've used. You know, it started off with cargo pockets, machine gun pouches, and then I actually started getting issued dump pouches. They do work. They're good for what they are. Just please remember, if you're in a hurry, dump that empty mag on the ground. And at most, one attempt in the heat of the moment to actually secure that magazine into the dump pouch. It's a silly reason to get hurt, get killed. Empty magazines are easily replaceable. So this is Dora with Tactical Hive, out.